Could feel it in the air at night Moon is shining and I see it in your eyes Something special when the stars align Come a little closer, hold on to my shoulder, yeah Cause I got Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, uh, my name is Brittany and I am a Messy Bun teacher. I teach... What do I teach? <laughs> I teach fifth grade reading and uh, I live in Tennessee. So yeah, today we're going to do a day in the life of. We have two weeks I believe until spring break. Our spring break is in April so there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm heading to school. Turn on a little uh, Maverick City music. All right, guys, so it is my planning time, and I am before I get on my Google Meet um, with my kiddos. Oh, I am greasy <laughs> with my kiddos at home. I am going to kind of plan for next week. I did want to show you something really cool. Hold on. Girl needs to blotch some. I used this new serum last night. Loved how it made my skin feel, but I guess it kind of made it a little bit greasy, but that's okay. Okay, so we are going to be selling. Can you guess what that is? Smensels. Um, this is a really good this is Jelly Donut. Jelly Donut. This one, Cookies and Cream. Um, it's a real easy fundraiser. If you have a club or you want to raise money for your grade or whatever it is, um, they have a website. I'll link it below. And they have more than just smelly pencils. Um, they have more than just smelly pencils. They have pens they have uh they even have like pillows that smell really good but it's meant for fundraisers for schools um and we have sold about every box of the world's finest chocolate there is in the world um so we thought as a team to raise money for our grade to sell stencils and uh, my old school used to do it and they were always really, really, really successful. I'm gonna put you right here because I gotta get some work done, you know what I mean? Um, so they were all, always really successful and so we're gonna start selling those next week. They suggest a dollar, but we're gonna sell them for $2. To me, I feel like they are worth two dollars because it comes in that really cool case um this the scent lasts for a very long time and uh, it's just fun and they have even like that's like the original flavors um those are the original flavors they have like a sports one they have sorry i'm not happy with this angle i didn't do my mascara very well today so i feel like i look super like tired who am i kidding i am tired uh, anyways, they have like a sports one, they have holiday ones, they have, um, gamer ones. So they all come in with different scents. So we just have the, we bought the 10 pack and a pack comes with 50 and, um, a lot of, a lot of flavors. There's 10 flavors or scents. You don't want them to eat them. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I'll put the link below of the website we got them from. So... I am really diving deep into our wonders curriculum. I would love to know what reading curriculum you use at your school. Uh, remember, I teach fifth grade, even though I'm at a middle school. So sixth, seventh, and eighth, they use my perspectives, which I heard is really, really good. Um, and I'm just now, I've dipped my toes into wonders this year because I've done a lot more novel studies. Um, 
but next year we're going to use this primarily and so I really wanted to dive deep into it for the rest of the year. Uh, we are on unit five and uh, right now we're focusing on expository text and um, main idea, cause and effect. Um, so yeah, so far I, I really do, I like it. There's some things where I'm not a huge fan of, like the online stuff doesn't work, you know, amazingly, um, especially when you're used to using platforms and websites that work really well and they, you know, it's just seamless. And Wonders, I feel like um, they are doing a good job and uh, it's easier to do it with paper and pencil, in my opinion. But I'm pretty much doing all digital stuff because you never know when people have to quarantine or everybody goes remote. So, yeah, that's what we're focusing on this week. Next week is going to be historical fiction and um, the anchor text, which it comes with about 12 novels. Um, so it's going to have me read some of Bud Not Buddy, which I love. Uh, we read... The Watsons go to Birmingham in Oklahoma, and I taught that probably three years in a row, and that's the same author, and it's really, really good, especially if you teach that era, which our social studies teacher does. She teaches um, the civil rights movement, and so um, Watsons go to Birmingham is perfect for that. So I know Bud Not Buddy, I believe, is around the Great Depression. Um, so yeah, it's by the same author, which I'm excited about. So I'm doing that and here in just a bit, I have about eight minutes until I'm gonna get on my Google Meets. Um, we are going remote temporarily on Friday because our district, um, the vaccines, the first dose was about a month ago and now we're coming up on that second dose. So my district, which I thought was really smart because um, people react uh, differently and apparently there's worse symptoms than there are with the first dose. So since we're coming around to the second dose, then they are going to go remote Friday. Um, that way if teachers, you know, don't feel good, it wouldn't be hard to get, you know, subs or anything like that. And they can work from home um, and Monday. So just in case their symptoms last a little bit longer or anybody's symptoms last a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, so hoping everybody feels good on Friday. <laughs> and so Friday, honestly, I just gave them, assigned them an Ed Puzzle because we were doing all wonders all week and it's mainly about cause and effect. So I'm going to assign them an Ed Puzzle on cause and effect and take that as a grade because it's mainly a quiz to just to assess how they did. And then I'm going to look at their work that they did all week on our Wonders curriculum. Sometimes I just kind of want to sit in silence. Anybody else do that? When it's your planning and all you want to do is just sit in silence or just talk to an adult. Our spring break is not till April. So we are just crippling by. Bless you if you got a spring break in March. I actually kind of like it in early April. Sorry, my hair. I just don't like it flat. Squirrel, I'm sorry. Anyways, because April usually is a really long month and with testing and everything. So we have it first, the first week of April and my family and I are planning on going somewhere. Um, we might save it till the summer. I don't know yet, but that's our plan. So I'm super excited. Oh, I did want to show you what I got with uh, my VEP money. I'm telling you, anything that can erase, use it. Because, I mean, for my plans, my sticky notes, my to-do list, I feel like I'm always having to erase something, especially my grades. Um, that can be another video, but I have learned a system for grading because I've had, you know, a bajillion kids this year. So I had to get a system down and erasable highlighters, erasable pens have been my godsend for grading this year because I use a paper planner and then I can put it in. And to be able to keep track of who's turned it in or who was absent, I have it all color coded with the highlighters and then I can erase the highlighter when they turn it in. So these are the 
highlighters that I have. Um, oh yeah, it's Crayola. Crayola, take note. Um, so it's the highlight there. Oh, let me do the vlog or anything. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, it's going to do that. I'm a nerd. And then this is the eraser part of it. Okay. Um, love these because I highlight it when it's not turned in or they were absent. So I can look back. And then I put the grade in and I don't unhighlight it, like erase it. Unhighlight it. I don't erase it until I've actually put it in the computer grade book. So that keeps me on track. And then obviously erasable pens, my favorite erasable pens right now. These are okay. These are the friction pilot ones. They're okay, but my favorite ones are still friction, but it, it's the friction ball pens, 07, I guess, and it's these. I feel like the ink is a lot smoother, and then the eraser part is right there. But I just got these in, and I'm excited to use these probably for my planning, possibly grading, but they're erasable. Um, well, they're pencils, but they're color lead because I like, I mean, my, my, my life needs to be colorful, especially this year. So I have how many colors? All of these. Nope, that's a pen. And they're all color lead. Isn't that fun? Super fun. That's another pen. Wow. Um, they are called Papermate. That's not what they're, I mean, that's their brand. I guess they don't have one on there. I guess just look up Papermate Color Lead. Anyways, so keep that all in here. And uh, it's amazing for grading and planning. So, yeah, I am needing to get on to Google Meets and... I will talk to you after that. I'll probably talk to you at the end of the day. Okay. Real quick. Um, I didn't tell you what I got. I, I got so excited about the pins. But it's this. Um, hold on one second. I told you I'm really good at this, guys. Um, it's called Knock Knock. They have really cool, like, notepads and stuff like that. And so I got this simple. It says this week. It was $6 on Amazon. And there's, like, 52 sheets. Um, so that's the amount of weeks in the year, right? Anyways, um, love it because I can just have my to-do list, which I usually have it on a sticky note, put it on my computer. Now I can do this for a day, for a day. And I see it in your eyes, something special in the stars align. Come a little closer, hold on to my shoulder, yeah. Cause I got it, got it. Okay, so it's at the end of the day, and I thought I would do a little bit of plan with me. Um, does anybody else? Their desk looks like a hot mess. Anybody? <laughs> That's not a good view. I mean, I have literally every book. So when I plan, I have my computer my Wonders Teacher's Edition, my planner, my pens, and a student's version. Hi! The writing companion and the textbook. I don't really need these, but I like to see what the student's version looks like. So I'm about to head out. Um, I finished for two weeks and so I always write down the essential question for the week and that will usually carry me for a week and a half to two weeks um, and so this week's uh, essential question is how scientific knowledge can change over time and how we're reading about how in the ancient times how we viewed the earth and the sun and um, really good things and so they're going to finish their shared read tomorrow, which is all about the views of our planet. And then on Thursday, they're going to um, read a passage from the textbook that is, oh, it's about Pluto and what makes a, what does it say? 
what it, uh, when is a planet not a planet? So they're really interested in that. They got into kind of like a debate of like, it's a planet. No, it's a dwarf planet. No, it's not a planet. So, and then next week, and it'll probably carry me over to the week before spring break, um, is going to be centered around historical fiction. And the essential question is how, what was it? Um, and I always have that posted in my room as well. What's the essential question? Where is it? The concept is better together, which I love. Oh, how do shared experiences help people adapt to change? And so we're going to talk about the Great Depression. We're going to bring in a historical fiction piece. Um, and then we are going to do an anchor text, which is Bud Not Buddy. And then... Um, Two days before spring break, I thought it would be fun to give students historical fiction scripts. And so I'm going to give them on Thursday. No, I'm going to give them to them on Wednesday and then they can practice um, with their group. And then on Thursday, because we have that Good Friday off, um, I'll have them perform it and they can bring props and stuff like that. I thought that would be fun to end that, um, that part of the unit up. So... That's what I have planned before spring break. And uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna head home. It's about 3.30. If you have any questions or if you also teach wonders, I would love to hear from you. Um, tell me all about how you do it. Love you guys. Subscribe, like, notification bell. Okay, bye. As an Amazon affiliate and an affiliate of other companies, my videos and content may contain affiliate references and links. If you buy something through one of these links, you don't pay extra, but I will get a small commission. Thank you.